Hi. Hi. Hi, Hi teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. How's everybody? All right, just give me a second. I know what I think what the problem is. Just give me one second. Can you hear me now? Yes. We yes. Hear you. All right. Very good. All right. Yes. So, how's everybody today? Good. Very yeah? good. Yeah. Hi. All right, Fatima. We missed you last class. Yes, teacher. My son is sick. Your son was sick. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> He's feeling better now. He's feeling better? A little. A little, A little more. Uh, good. <laughs> All right, very good. Okay, so welcome back then. Hi, Walter. Hi, everybody else. Roxana, Ramiro, Lisi, Noemi, Patricia. All right, Ale, Ana, Alejandra, Daniel, Adriana, Roberto, Elmer. Hi, everyone. My goodness, so many people in classes right now. Okay. So guys, we are going to officially begin section three. And this is our third week. So this week, guys, we're going to talk about section three and section four, okay? Just the main topics of the sessions, of the sections, all right? Yes. Okay, so let's begin. Do you know what the topic is about? Anybody? The evaluations in uh -huh. the with adjectives the and three. nouns. Yeah, evaluations with adjectives and nouns. Excellent. Very good. I'm happy that you guys checked from all right. So uh let me see here. Silvita, Silvia, can you give me an example of an adjective? Silvia? All right, Adriana. Hi, can, hi, 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 Silvia. Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, can you give me an example of an adjective? An adjective. Yeah. Uh, um, my brother. Just the adjective, Silvia. Just give me one uh, adjective. Uh huh. Ah, uh, uh, tall. All right, very good. Um, Adriana, give me another example of an adjective. Uh, beautiful. All right, very good. Roberto Aviles, can you give me another one? Uh, small. A small, very good. Elmer, can you give me another one? Expensive. Expensive, very good. Ana Valencia, can you give me another one? Um, stressful. Very good, okay. Very good. Um, I'm just double checking that you know what an adjective is in English, all right? Lizzie, can you give me an example of a noun? Yeah. Um, apartment. All right, very good. Um, Daniel, give me another noun, please. No, Daniel is not around. Patricia Aguilar, can you give me an example of a noun? Car. All right, very good, all right. Uh, Alejandra, can you give me another noun, please? Um, bakery. Okay, very good. Anything else? Any other one? 
Xiomara, give me another example of a sí. noun. Cell phone. Cell phones. Cell phone. All right, very good. Oh, so you guys know the difference between nouns and adjectives, okay? So what today is about, we're talking about evaluations with adjectives and nouns, and we're also comparing a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna show you the PowerPoint I have. And it says evaluation and comparisons with adjectives and nouns, all right? Can you see it? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. All right, let's see. Um, let's, we're gonna talk, guys. We're not gonna do this right now. We're gonna go here. All right, so we have um, Ellie, can you tell me the first picture, please? Ellie? Uh huh. Adjective for houses and apartments. All right, so adjectives for houses right. and apartments, uh huh. Right. Right. Yes. Spacious. A spacious. Space. Brand new. Uh huh. Brand new. Convenient. Convenient. All right. Yeah, convenient. All right. I have a question for you. Do you understand what bright is? Don't tell me in Spanish. Just tell me if you understand it. The bright yes. is como alum. No. no. Don't tell me in Spanish. Some space. Some space. Uh, they have a, a lot of uh, a lot of what? Right, sun. Yeah, a lot of light. Yes, like yes, right. Okay, yeah. All right. Also, sometimes it can have an, like artificial light, and sometimes it's natural bright. I mean, light, and then it becomes <laughs> bright. Okay, so bright is when there's a lot of light. It can be artificial or natural. All right. Do you understand quiet? Don't tell me in Spanish. Just tell me if you understand quiet. Silent. Silent. Oh yeah, quiet is silent. All right, very good. What or about when? Or without when is... violence. Without violence, yes, quiet, nice. Okay, like if I say quiet, I'm not only referring about the sound, but also when... about how life is, uh-huh. When is there a lot of peace? Yeah, that's right. Very good. What about spacious? What is a spacious? A big area. A big space. area. Big space, big area. All right, very good. What about brand new? You understand brand new? It's like new, so new. new. Like super new. Yeah, it just made it was just made, all right. So super super new, like nobody has lived in that apartment before. Very good. What about convenient? Convenient. Convenient. Uh huh. What's convenient? Prefer a song. To the, to the, near to my job, teacher. It's near to your uh, job, all right. It's near to many places, all right. Like very yeah. convenient, all right. Let's it's see. Located. Yeah, the location. Yes, very good, Anna. We're talking about location here, okay? Very nice. So, Jaime, are you there? Yes, teacher. Jaime, I'm very good. Short. Thank you. Do you live in a house or in an apartment, um, Jaime? <laughs> I live in the house. Okay. Is your house bright? Um, yes. All right. Is your house quiet? No, <laughs> because oh, okay. I have a, a child. Ah, okay. Is your house <laughs> spacious? Um, yes, I think it's spacious. All right. Is it brand new? Uh, I don't know. It's brand new, teacher. Brand new, super, super new. Oh, okay, no, it's, it's... It's not brand new. It's not brand new. Okay, yeah. very good. Is it convenient? Is the location good? Uh, really not. Ah, okay, very no, good, that thank is you. convenient. Okay, yeah. it's not convenient. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Roxana? Roxana? Here? 
Here I am. All right, all right, very good. Roxana, Roxana, do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. Okay, is your house bright? Not so bright. <laughs> Not so bright, okay. Is it quiet? Um, so, so. So, so, all right. Is it, is it a spacious? <laughs> no, my house is a little house. <laughs> Brand new? No, 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 it, it's very old. All right, is it convenient? Uh, this is, yes. My it is convenient. Is convenient. Ah, yes. All right, okay, very good, okay. Let's keep on talking here. Usted no ve el español ahí. Oops. All right. Mm. Then we have, what's the other one, Xiomara? Can you read the ones that we have here? The second row? Mm, dingy. Dingy. All right. Very good. Next one, Guadalupe. What's this? Hey, Guadalupe, are you there? No? Nice. All right. Uh, eh, Noemi? Noise? Noisy. Noisy. Noisy, all right, very good. Um, Ana Valencia, what's the other one? Cramped. 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 All right, very good. Thank you. Ale Arias, what's the other one? El ventilador. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ale. and Shabby. Shabby, very good. And um, Daniel Mendez, what's the last one? Inconvenient. 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 Inconvenient, all right? So we have dingy, noisy, cramped, shabby, inconvenient, all right? So dingy, noisy, cramped, shabby, and inconvenient, they are the opposite of the other ones that we have up there, all right? So let's see, we have <laughs> dingy is like not very clean, not very spacious, very dark, and kind of ugly, all right? Noisy, you understand noisy, the opposite of quiet. Cramped is like a lot of people, a lot of everything, like you cannot even walk, okay? Abby is not very nice looking. Many things are broken and they're not nice. That's shabby. And then inconvenient is the opposite of convenient. All right. Let's see. Elmer. Are you there, Elmer? Yeah, my dear teacher. All right. Um, do you live in a house or an apartment, Elmer? I live in a house. All right. Is your house dingy? No, it's bright. All right. Is your house noisy? No, quiet. Ah, is your house cramped? No, I know space for me. Enough space for you. Is it shabby? No, it's um, so so like um, it's good. It's good. Is it inconvenient or is it convenient? It's convenient. It's near to you. <laughs> Yeah, but we don't know each other yet. All right, very good. All right. Okay, so here, guys, we're talking, um, we're using adjectives specifically for houses and apartments or for buildings, right? Can you think of another adjective that we can use for when we're describing houses or apartments? Messy. Messy also, yes. Uh-huh. Modern, dark, clean. modern, clean, uh huh. Dark like my house. <laughs> dark like dark. your house. All right. Yeah. Anything else that we talk about houses or apartments? Little, L like small. All right. Okay. Small. small. Mm -hmm. Expensive. Or you can say big, right? Maybe it's not spacious, but it's big. Okay. What else? And insecure. Secure or safe. Uh, or safe. Very good. The opposites. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's continue here. Do you have Cheaper. any sheep also? Do you have any questions about this vocabulary? No. No? Are we okay? Yes. Okay. Then we go. We're going to talk about evaluations with adjectives. Okay. And in this case, we're saying, for example, um, Ale. 
Alex Aguilera, I'm sorry. Can you read? It says evaluations with adjectives. Can you continue reading? Okay. Evaluation with adjectives. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Uh -huh. Apartments are too, too small for pets. Okay. Continue. Okay. The kitchen isn't big enough. Okay. The living room is too small. All right. So let's see. Yeah. In sentence number one, but are you there? Patty? No. She's not around. All right. Yes, Any... teacher, I'm ah, here. Hi, Patty. All right. Thank you. Patty, in sentence number one, it says apartments aren't big enough for families. Which one is the adjective? Big enough? Big. Big is the adjective, big. right? Very okay. good. Okay. Um, Noemi, if I say apartments are too small for pets, which one is the uh, adjective? It's small. Very good. All right. Uh, Mary Viera, I say the kitchen isn't big enough. Which one is the adjective? Big. Excellent. All right. Lizzie. We can hear everybody talking. Lizzie, the living room is too small. Can you tell me the adjective? A small. A small. Okay. So which evaluation are we using right now? Which words are we using to evaluate? In the space. Um, Which one? The space. What space? What do you mean the space? What, um, my question is the okay, size. We are the using area of the house. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right now, we were talking about the adjectives, okay? Now, I'm asking you, what is the evaluation? How, what, what is the word? Uh, the apartment. No, the evaluation department. Yeah, we're evaluating the, the apartment, but we're using one specific word to evaluate. No, big enough. enough. Thank you, Anna. Thank uh, you, Anna. Enough. enough, all right? What about, what is the other one? Two, two, two. two. All right. two. Oh, very good. Thank you. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. The kitchen isn't big enough. The living room is too small. All right. So I have a question. I need a volunteer. Para que me la conteste. Me. Who's me? Noemi. Oh, Noemi. Okay. All right. Noemi. Um, do you use enough? Before or after the adjective? Is before. Espérame, no, Emi, que hay alguien con un sonido ahí de radio, tele, no sé qué es, que está bien fuerte. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, big, uh, so enough, we use it before or after the adjective? Before. Are you sure? No. After. 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 After, after, after después. Adjective, after, uh -huh. adjective. After. Oh, after? Yeah, after is after. After is after. That's right. It's before. It's not before. <laughs> es que yo decía after con before, pero que quería ver si estaban listos todos. Ah, of course, we are. <laughs> Everybody's awake, all right? Okay, so yes, we use, um, eh, we use enough after the adjectives, okay? Big enough, uh, tall enough, beautiful enough, smart enough, okay? What yes. about when we use uh, Roberto Garcia? What about two? We use it before or after the adjectives? Um, before. Roberto? Before. Roberto? No me escucha, Roberto. He's sleeping. Es, are you sleeping, Roberto? Roberto García. No, I guess he cannot listen. Roberto García. He's watching a, a, a film. Escriba, Robert. All right, a ver, contestemos aquí todas entonces. So, two, we use it before, the... before or after the adjective. Before. Before. Ah, before. All right, thank you so much. All right. A ver, Daniel Mendez, ¿me escucha? 
Yes, I do. All right. Think. Thank you. Daniel, can you tell me a sentence about your house using enough and using adjectives? Okay, um, my, I, I live in an apartment. Ah, okay, perfect. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, my, uh, my apartment is not, is not big enough. Ah, very good. Okay. So your, your apartment is not big enough, okay? It's not big enough. Really. Okay, so I can say that your apartment is too small? Yes, it's too small. Ah, all right, very good. Thank you. Federico, hi, Federico. Federico, no? No, Dios mío. All right. Uh, let me see who else here. Um, Adriana, can you can you tell me something about your house using to an adjective? My house. Um, no. My house. Mm. It's too big for oh, for you. Yes, yes, for me. <laughs> All right. So your house is too. Okay. So your house is too big for you, like too big for you. All right. Let's continue here. So remember, you have. To, I want you to remember that you use enough after the adjective and to before the adjective. Okay. You cannot say. Apartments are uh, two for pets, all right? You have to have the two before the adjective. Or you can say apartments aren't big. Oh, sorry. The apartments are, aren't are enough big, all right? That would be in Spanish, all right, but not in English. Let's continue here. Evaluation with, no, with nouns, okay? Um, Ale Arias, can you read number one, please? Okay, apartments don't have enough parking space. Spaces, very good. Spaces, yes, yeah, thank you. Lizzie, can you read the other one? House costs too much money. Houses, houses, houses cost, cost too much, too much money. money. Very good. All right, uh, Norma Campos, can you read the, the other one, please? The last there, one. Yeah. There aren't enough, enough bedrooms. Ah, there aren't enough bedrooms, all right. Xiomara, in sentence number one, apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Which one is the noun? The noun is... Um, enough. Enough is the evaluation enough. word. But what is the noun? Have. That's a verb. Uh, apartments? Have. Mm, have? Would, no, how would be the verb? That cannot be the noun. I'm asking about mm -hmm. a noun. Parking apartments. Space? Uh, parking space. Parking mm -hmm. spaces, all right? Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Enough. So parking enough. spaces is the noun. Let me put in the second sentence. Houses cost too much money. Money? Money? Ramiro, your microphone is yes, off, Ramiro. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher. All right, for sentence number two, Ramiro, which one is the um the noun? No. The noun is money. The noun is money? The, the, the principal noun is houses, but yeah. the, the evaluation with uh -huh. nouns is money. All right, very good. Thank you. Very nice. All right. Ha estudiado, señorito. Very good. Si no le digo a <laughs> Walter, what about number three? There aren't enough bedrooms. What is the noun? Bedrooms. Bedrooms. Very good. Okay, so Roxana, for sentence number one, it says apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Your classmates told me that this is the noun. So where do I put the evaluation word? Before or after the noun? 
uh, the evaluation is uh, uh, before. Before, long. right, very good. Okay. It's different from the adjective. I say it's small enough when I talk about adjectives. But when I talk about nouns, the evaluation before. word goes before it. Very good, all right, nice, all right. Fatima, what about for sentence number two? Houses cost too much money. All right, your classmates told me that money is the noun. Money is the noun, so where is the evaluation word? Before or after the noun? It's um, before. Before, all right, very good. And the last one, Eli, aren't enough bedrooms. So where is the, the evaluation word? Uh -huh. So enough goes before or after? It's after. All right. It's after. It's after of the object. Uh, the the I mean the noun is bedrooms. Where is the evaluation word? Bedroom. Uh -huh. Bedroom is the noun. Where bedroom is the evaluation the word? Before or after it? Is before. Is before it. All right. Very good. Okay. Let's see the other one. Oh, there isn't enough closets. Uh, Walter, yes. which one is the noun, Walter? Closet space. Closet space, all right. And the enough goes before or after? Before. All right, very good. Okay, so right now we're going to stop right here with for the exercises. Right now we're only studying evaluation with adjectives, okay? So what I want you to do right now is I want you to go to your groups and together come up with sentences using adjectives and like some sentences with adjectives and some sentences with nouns using enough and using to. Just remember that when you have nouns, enough goes before. And when you have adjectives, enough goes at the end, all right? Or, all right, so make sure that you make sentences. Let's think about, let me see. Um, I want you to write one sentence using two plus adjective and one sentence using two plus noun. I want you to use one sentence using enough, an adjective, and another sentence using enough for nouns. Do you understand what you have to do? Creo. All right, what about the rest? Pero Tengo 31. Four. <laughs> Teacher, vuelvo a, eh, a repetir los que necesita. <laughs> All right, okay, so you need to make four sentences, okay? One sentence using two, plus adjective, another sentence using two plus noun, another sentence using enough plus adjective, and last sentence using enough plus noun. Okay. Now you understand? So it's four in total, four sentences. Yes. Related to houses and apartments right now, okay? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing and you're gonna go to your groups right now. All right, please sleep on your on your breakout room so you can participate with your classmates.
Jaime, Emi, Ali. After the nouns. After the nouns. After the nouns. And when to is now is before the adjective. I have Jennifer and Jennifer in the class. Yeah. Yes. I now know Noemi, right? Jennifer. I know. Yes. <laughs> la, oh, Noemi la saqué del otro grupo porque el otro compañero no se conectaba. Sí, oh, me okay. fijé. Hi, no mami. Hi, nada. Hi, Hi, you're welcome. Hi, girls. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we need to use uh, the two uh, with uh, an adjectives and two with a noun. Uh, okay. Remember the rules. The rules, the, the rules are when we use two with an adjective, Pero ahí el nombre sería bedroom, ¿verdad? My bed, o sea, bedroom. Yes, my bedroom is too small. And the other one for, with, with, no? Mm. La otra, ajá, yo le entendí que la primera iba a ser con adjetivos. That's la segunda right. segunda era nombre. Here, hola, hola. Hello, hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Oh, hi. How are you doing? And you understand what you're supposed to do? <laughs> so, so. Oh, so, but so. you're doing good. That's okay. Number one, it's okay. My bedroom, yeah, my bedroom is too small. small. So you're using two plus adjective, right? The small yes. is the adjective. All right. So now I want you to use another Another is, is evaluation with noun. Yeah, and using two. Using two. Yeah. Mm. So one, two is for adjective and the other two is for nouns. Okay. Um, uh -huh. Maybe my, na my neighborhood too much noise. But noise is not a noun. Uh, too much car? Noise. Cars? Oh, well, too many cars. Too many, yes. Uh -huh. It's countable. Yeah, well, too much noise. Yeah, you could have actually, yeah. Noise is a noun. Okay. Either one's okay. Entonces, my, my, na my neighbor. My neighbor. ¿Cómo se escribe? Así se escribe. Así ve. A ver. Wait. No. Yes. All right. I'm going to go check on another group, but you're doing okay. The other two sentences, it has to be with enough adjective, enough noun, okay? Okay. My neighbor. Too much money. Uh, get the new business near to Santa Rosa. 
costs too much money. Uh, Norma and Ramiro for number one, you're using very bright. And right now we're using two or enough. Yes, teacher, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's correct, teacher. I mean, it is correct. My house is very bright, but instead of saying very bright, you can say too bright. Okay. <laughs> because right now we're using that one, Norma, but I mean, it's okay. I mean, it makes okay, sense. And, uh -huh. and, and this one is too, too much money. The new building near to Santa Rosa costs too much money, yeah? Okay. Okay, Ramiro, the last one? The last one, mm, let me see. Um, yeah, I like sentence number two. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That is all right, eh? They're like it's very- Ramiro, the second. Ah, Ramiro. Yeah. <laughs> He said me a specific in San Salvador. Uh -huh. Norma, where are you from? Do you live in San Salvador? No, teacher, I live in Santa Ana. All right, yeah. Okay. Santa Ana. Wow. Okay. My okay. mother and my father are from Santa Ana. Wow. It's very quiet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like it, Santa Ana, teacher. You like yes, Santana? Because, yes. Because the houses in Santana are big are, enough. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Big. yeah. Are more big, big enough. Um, and, mm -hmm. and there are uh, they are too fresh. Uh, yeah. There are um, enough. Uh, all right. Have you ever lived in San Salvador, Norma? What, teacher? Have you ever lived in San Salvador or always yes, in Santana? No, but, uh, I live in San Salvador when I studied at university. Oh, okay. I and you didn't really like it? Yeah. But when I married, uh -huh. I, I live in Santana. Ah, all right. Because my okay. husband is from Santana. Okay. All right, nice. But you like it, right? Yes. Okay. And I travel every day to Lourdes. Oh my goodness, because really? Because I, I work in Lourdes. Oh yes. my goodness, okay. Interesting. And it's not so far away for you? Uh, no, teacher, 45 minutes. Okay. And you don't find traffic? Ah, uh, yes, in many occasions. Ah, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. All right. Nice. So All right. Was horrible. Oh, really? Yes. Two hours to coming to my. Two hours. Home. Yes. Oh wow. no, that's a lot of time. I wake up at the 4 a.m. Yeah. and travel from 5 to 7 a.m. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of work, eh? Yeah. yeah. Ramiro, you guys live in San Salvador, right? With Senia? Yes, I live with Senia, teacher. No, I know, but in San Salvador. <laughs> See, I live in Mexicano, teacher. All right, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember Senia told me. A while ago. All right, very good, guys. So let's continue working. I'm gonna go check in another group, okay? Okay, okay thanks, okay. teacher. Thank you. Okay, Ramiro, it's noisy around. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Mary. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Hey. Good. We're, we're doing good. Okay, very good. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? I'm going to go check in another group. Okay, okay, thanks. Thank you. Okay, listen. We do an adjective. My house is too spacious for me. 
requiere bastante tiempo para excuse me Walter excuse me Elmer Hello, my dear teacher. Hi, Hello. my dear student. I speak, I speak Spanish because I, I don't <laughs> watch to you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, that, that is uh, our example for the, the task teacher. Uh, let Which me one? see. I, I, I uh, share my... Uh, can you see my screen? My house is too small. The buses aren't fast enough. There aren't enough hospitals with S, my friend. Ah, uh, with F. S. Sorry, teacher. Excellent. On the street, there are two much. Wait, wait, dogs is countable or uncountable? Uncountable, teacher. Too many. A little dogs? Too many. I know, yes, but you can many. count dogs. Too many. <laughs> but a little big, big difficult to count. Um, yeah, but <laughs> still you can count it. So yeah, I admit it would be too many dogs. Too many dogs. Like yeah. when you say too many is demasiados, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. very good. And uh, in my country... How do you say rabia, teacher? Ah, uh, no sé. No me acuerdo. <laughs> siempre. Es que no me acuerdo. No hablo de rabia todos los días. No, pero siempre, ¿verdad, teacher? Sale una palabra. Usted, pues sí, usted es. Cada no, cosa que pregunta. How do you say rabia? Rabioso. Yo creo que usted se propone, fíjese. Siempre, siempre pienso en usted y busco una palabra al día, tí, Ah, tí, bueno, tí. ok. <risa> y como and, goza. And too much pollution oh, is, 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 is good, teacher. In my country there are too much pollution. Pero espérese, no sé, ustedes corríjanla porque hay algo ahí que está bien grave. Ah, de verdad. Sí. Híjole, in my country. There is, there is. Excellent. There is. Es que es cierto, vea. Oh my God. Es cierto. Es que yo lo había puesto con ese pie, ese teacher. Por eso la confusión. Sí, en serio. Lo había puesto con ese, ¿verdad, Walter? Lo había puesto con yeah. el, ese, ese y, y por eso me hacía, no sé, me hacía clic la, la parte de, de there are. Mm -hmm. may, may I ask to you something? Sure, go ahead. This is similar to the to the topic that we are uh, studying. Uh, talking. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yes. Uh, if I am re repairing a house, mm -hmm. what is the best way to say? You're the, repairing the, the house? Is that okay? Repairing? Yeah, you're repairing it or you're fixing it. Okay. If, if, if I am use, uh, using uh, uh, remodeling. You are remaking your house? Remake? Uh -huh. Maybe, teacher. Remodeling, yeah, remake. remodeling uh, don't exist. Maybe. No, you can say remodeling or you can say yeah. remaking. Yeah, you're like remaking your house. When, when you use remodeling? Whenever you want to. Uh, this is uh, remodeling the your, the hey, her house, for example. Uh -huh. mm, okay. No la había escuchado. Remodel, um, reme I remember how do you say rabia. Fix. <laughs> no se preocupe, teacher. Se le it's ra <laughs> no, oiga, oiga. It's ra uh -huh. It's se escribe r a b i e s rabies. Rabbits, like a uh, uh, royal rabbit. Supongo. <laughs> like a uh, um, conejo. Similar, yes. but the other one. What is this? Too much. Teacher, hoy he sentido bien corto el. el... Rabies, rabies. Mm. Uh huh. El que dijo. Hoy... El, el, el módulo. Nivel. Uh -huh. Sí, yo también. Eh, ya estamos en la... En, el calor se enojaron del... en mi trabajo porque le dije a la, a la chica, <risas> mire, me puede preparar la solicitud de... Otra, 
otra vez. Me dice, y lo peor es que lo tengo que hacer rápido, me dice, porque usted me lo pide. Of course, dear, ese. Pues sí, sí, entonces le digo yo, ¿por qué la tenemos allí? Le digo. <risa> <risa> ya ve que usted es especial con everybody, ¿ha? Huh? Ya me lo imagino. Con todo, teacher, sé que es parejo. Mm. How do you say parejo, teacher? I don't know, el mercito. <risa> El mayor terrible. Sí. Mire, Walter, cómo me hace bullying este niño. <risa> y así dice que me quiere. Dice, a ver, ¿cómo? Sí, no, teacher, de en serio. En serio. <risa> Ese es del bueno. Creo. Ajá, cálmese. Ah. Me voy a salir de este grupo. <risa> no, ya me voy. <risa> All right, ya me voy yo. Bye. 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 <risa>my bathroom is big enough for right. two people. Oh, very nice. Okay. Jennifer Acosta, give me another one. Um, apartments. Let me see. Apartments are too small for children. Oh, all right. Very good. Fatima, another one. My neighborhood has too much noise. Okay, all right. Uh, Ana Dimas, another one? My bedroom is in enough Eso space. My bedroom, sorry? My bedroom is in enough space. It's spacey enough, Anita. My bedroom is in enough space. Aha, uh -huh. it should say my bedroom does is not spacious enough. All right. Space. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. My bedroom uh, enough spacing. All right. Anna, you need to correct it and you have to write my bedroom is not isn't. Isn't, uh huh. Spacious enough. Enough space. No, dele vuelta. Spacious enough. Ah, there okay. you go. Uh -huh. All right, very good. Ramiro, another one. All right, the Ramiro. Building, okay, the new building near to Santa Rosa costs too much money. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, very good. Next one. Let's see. Uh, Roxana. Okay. My house is too dark. Oh my goodness. Really, Roxana? Or it's only an example? Yes. No, it's too dark. <laughs> It's yes, not is the, the 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 old owner built old house and, oh and my God. let any 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 yard at at the at the back. Oh my goodness, <laughs> really? Uh -huh. oh, the no. way. That's why. And, All right. And, and build the and build the fronter and in front too. Front. Oh, everything. Old. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Okay. Uh, Robert. Why. Yeah, and now I believe you. Roberto Aviles. Can you give me one of your examples, please? Okay. Uh, my house doesn't have enough windows. My house doesn't have enough windows. All right. Is that true, Roberto, or is it only an example? Yes, I, my house only has two windows. Really? <laughs> okay, very good. Interesting. Walter Guerrero, uh -huh. tell me one of your sentences. Okay, uh, the buses aren't fast enough. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. No.
Norma, Norma. Norma. Okay. Uh, the new bid, no. The new houses in San Salvador aren't big enough. All right, very good. Okay. Eli Larin, another one? Eli, Eli. Your house are too bright all day. Excuse me? <clears throat> Your house are too bright all day. Are too bright or is too bright? How many no, houses are you talking about? Is. All right, very good. Noemi, another sentence. Noe? See, si. uh, a department get it get in to bring windows. Mm, I don't understand your sentence. Can you say it again, Noemi? Okay, apartment get it get in to bring windows. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Um in the Spanish? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ok, le puse que el apartamento este, entra demasiada luz por las ventanas. Pero no sé si está ah. bien. Ah. All right, so in my apartment, I don't know. <laughs> There is the, enough the light. light? Nuts. Enough light, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Tricky it's one. A test, it's a test, teacher. It's a test, I know, <laughs> but I... I just don't really get it how to word it. All right, that's okay, no emisita. All right. Okay. Pe? Guadalupe. Uh-huh. Your microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. That's okay. My house does, doesn't have enough bedrooms. Your house doesn't have enough bedrooms. That's it. Oh, yes. all right. Okay, interesting. All right. Okay, guys. So tomorrow, thank you so much. Um, well, Lupe, tomorrow we're going to keep on talking a little bit about evaluations with nouns and adjectives, but we're also doing comparison with nouns and adjectives, okay? And then I have a worksheet. Uh, well, not worksheet, but some questions that you can be answering tomorrow, okay? Great. Okay. okay, guys, remember that this Because week is a little confused. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, remember that this week you need to finish section three and you need to finish the midterm. Okay, so make sure that you because we're going When, to teacher? this week. Oh, yeah, this yeah, week. because we only have one more week left. I mean, we have seventh, yes, yeah. plus the, the, the plus other the week finished. Yeah, we finished yes. October the 3rd. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. but you need to be... The like, other week. Yeah, next week. All right, so just make sure that you are not falling behind with the exercises. Para que no se les acumule el trabajo, okay? This week? ¿Hasta dónde? Es la 3 y 4 vamos a ver esta semana. La, la 3 de hecho es corta. Entonces solo hablamos de esto y mañana It's terminamos... So Uh, you think it's confusing? Yes. Well, tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit more, okay? So you, I can help you on that. But then we're, we have to finish section four this week too. So you have section five next week. And we finish next week. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. So have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for joining us. And a study, okay? Thank you. Thank you, and work teacher. on your platform. Okay. All right. Thank Bye. You so Bye. Bye. Have a nice Bye. night. Bye. 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 Bye.